Get you another pet. I don't want another pet, Donkey Kong. Not ever. He would just run off like Thermy. Oh, I've never seen Dixie so down in the dumps, did he? You can say that again, DK. Simple question, General Clump. Uh huh. How long have I been after the crystal coconut? Uh, as long as I can remember. Hmm. And how long is that, Clump? Uh, I can't remember. A long time, Clump. And now? Time is up! This time, you either get it or you'll get it. Get it? I don't want to hear one oops, oops, or uh -oh. Our new plan will not fail, King Carew, sir. Ta-da! Barrel and exploding barrel. We'll create a diversion of the barrel works. And then, um, when they open it, up, did you defuse the barrel? Oops. And oh, oh. You insufferable invertebrate. You are finished. Gone. Out of here. You want me to, um, leave? Want you to abrogate? Great. Get out the dictionary. You are relieved of your duties, stripped of your rank, cast out forever. Specifically, General Club, you are degeneralized. But the military, the servant you can cruel to end my life. Where will I go? It is no concern of mine. Day four, you are no longer a wizard. You do not exist. And you have been the name of Trump to be ever spoken again. You are exiled forever. <laughs> Nothing. 
Nothing's wrong, okay? Nothing's the matter. Everything's a okay. <laughs> but it sounded like. Like my miserable, unimportant life is over? That's because it is. <laughs> and quiet. I don't eat much. Okay, I can diet. But I'm already house trained. Clump's not a pet, Dixie. Mr. Clump's promised to change his bad guy ways and turn over a new leaf. Come on, Dix. No way a lizard's moving in with us. They're meant to be slipping and sliding under rocks, not living in trees. Right, DK? Well... But just give me a chance. What about the crystal coconut? I front on my mother's scaly hide to protect her with my life. Give him a shot, Cranky. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> my new family. I promise to become a number one simian citizen and, and make y'all proud. about starting off on the wrong foot. I'll be right down, Mr. Clump. Oh, well, I guess now we have to figure out where our uninvited guest is gonna stay. Mm. Only vacancy I know of is the one between his ears. And again. Not my place. Come on. I was just trying to cheer Dixie up. Just make sure he doesn't take off those boots. <laughs> Very funny. Well now, General, what do you think of your new position? But uh, I ain't moved. Crush her, you lunkhead. If you had two heads, you'd be lonesome. I shouldn't be so hard. After all, that non-person whose name we no longer mention was no rocket scientist. What's important is... Oh, dear me! A barrel! But is it an exploding battle or not? How will I ever tell? Perhaps you could help me with this dilemma, General Crusher. I can't do that. Uh -huh. It's an excellent level, all right. Oh, goody. Blind obedience. Oh, look, General, another barrel. Let's 
say morning to a bright new glorious day. <laughs> Sun's arising and breakfast will be ready at all 700 hours. Ah. Hey, where's Mr. Clump? You mean the rooster with the barrel belly? I'm gonna wrap that bugle around his neck. Uh, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, we're just fine. Good. Well, he was only trying to help. Oh, Dixie's right. I'm sure this is just gonna take a little time. <laughs> by which I shall finally gain the coveted crystal coconut? No, I just wanted to drive the car. Smooth, smooth. It's about time to learn, Masha. There's more to being a general than so, so. New uniforms. A bad Masha, to steal the coconut. An idea, a brain blemish, even a hemispheric hiccup. Anything! Heading back to the base for a brainstorming session. Yep. Right. right. No! I <laughs> DK, look. Clump's monkeying around with Cranky's trigger barrels. Hey, what are you doing? Putting a spit shine on Cranky's barrels. Well, that's certainly going to surprise him, ain't it? Hmm. Here he comes now. This is really gonna send the old sourpuss over to my side. I uh, uh, guess I better go start making lunch. I'll be right down, Mr. Clump. I know, Dixie. He was only trying to help. Tell that to Cranky. When he comes down out of orbit. Don't, don't mind me. A little crease is all a few dance. Set it on fire. Then we chop down the tree and dig some big dangerous holes. Big dangerous holes and hope get some nasty animals and great big furry spiders and, and, and lots of broken bits and sprinkle it around and... What does all that have to do with getting me the crystal coconut? Coconut? Why? I suddenly find myself wondering whatever became of that unmentionable non-person. Uh, he's living with the apes. The apes? Yep, that's what the spies say. Oh, the apes. <laughs> he's living with the apes. <laughs> The non person doesn't even do it. Donkey Kong's elevator has never worked right, Mr. Clump. It will when I get finished with it. So, how'd you like living here? To tell the truth, Dixie, it ain't so easy living in trees. But I'm getting the hang of it. I'm proud of the way you're trying to fit in by helping everyone out. Yeah, well, don't tell no one. But I think the others are starting to, well, like me. Even Cranky. And I won't lie to you, Dixie. I ain't never had friends before. <gasps> Here comes Donkey Kong. Hey, Donkey Kong. Where do you see what Mr. Clump did to your elevator? <laughs> Almost turned you into a milkshake. Almost sent me to the moon. And 
Don't forget the bugle. The bugle. So, what do you say? Clop doesn't belong here! We tried, Donkey Kong. It didn't work. I'll tell him in the morning. It'll be a lot easier telling him than Dixie. didn't fall. A lot of good it does me now. <laughs> Me living in trees. But, but you said you liked it here. I was wrong. I'm better off in some swamp somewhere, all by myself. No, I, I should have known better than to help a cold-hearted lizard like him. I guess Clump saved us from telling Dixie and him. Possibly spare a banana? Carosa! Oh, I thought you were one of those chest-pounding primates. Oh, oh, please let me come back, your cold-bloodedness. I promise I won't mess up again. Fine, then, um, you're reinstated. Oh, thank you, King Carosa. On the, um, on the condition that you betray your little monkey friend and use it to steal the coconut for me. Dixie? But I... Person? Person, person, person. Your wish is my command, King Carosa. <laughs> and here we are, back together, one great big larcenous family. Sorry, Dixie. Such a spineless, low-down, dying machine. Save the acceptance speech until after you steal the coconut clump. A commendable performance. Hardly an award winner. Heaps <laughs> of protecting the battle back. <laughs> the coconut should be easy pickings. <laughs> Got here as soon as we heard, Cranky. Yeah, what's shaking? You, if you get any closer to that exploding barrel. Where did it come from? Carol, who else? Dixie got a tip from Clump. Clump? So what are we gonna do, Cranky? The only thing we can do, Donkey Kong, explode it. Good plan. How? First, you go pick it up. Not so good plan. It's up to you to get it out of there, DK, before someone gets hurt. You are the hero, DK. And you got to remind me. Don't you dare! Dixie, am 
am I glad to see you. No, Dixie, it, it's not what it looks like. It most certainly is. What it looks like is you lied to me from the start. I took you in and this is how you repay me? By using me to get the others out of the way so you could sneak in and steal the Pokemon. Believe me, Dixie, I'm not here to steal it. I caught you red-handed. Oh, I wish I had time to explain. Oh, what's keeping that big ape? <laughs> <laughs> Dad's clump. This smells like lizard monkey business to me. Good, good, but a little louder. Good. Now, where's that dumb ape when you need him? Get the coconut clump. The coconut. Can't wait around. Louder. Coconut, you lunkhead! It was a trap. They outnumbered me. It's just a girl! Bananas! <laughs> Since we know how this huge ends up. Bananas! Clump set us up from the start. Should have known better than to trust that slimy salamander. Hope you're not taking this too hard, Dixie. Nah, I'm okay, Donkey Kong. Really, thanks. <laughs> Fermi, you're back! Oh, where'd you come from? And what's this note? To Dixie. Thanks. T-H-A-M-X? Who could... Wasn't after the coconut after all, was he, Dermy? <laughs> now that you're back, I'm gonna love you and take care of you. And if you leave me someday, well, that's okay. Because I will always remember the good times when we were together, and that will make me happy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.